Hi, I'm Ken Bianco Jr. and welcome to Train World TV. Uh, today we have a couple of guests here at the York O'Gage Show, Eastern TCA, and I thank you guys very much for coming down. We got Jerry of Sales for Atlas, and also Joe, VP of Sales for Atlas, and my father, Ken Bianco Sr. And uh, I guess we're gonna put you guys on the hot seat today. Uh -oh. And uh, we have customers all over the world and they get a little frustrated because they come to us and certain uh, track items for Atlas is out of stock and you know, it's, um, it, it's tough because all our customers use Atlas track and they love it, they have it, they have it on their layouts and they want more of it. And there's been certain productions that, you know, are out of stock. So what's going on? Can you explain? Um, about two and a half years ago, uh, the factory that made our track wanted to raise our prices 40%. And wow. we couldn't pass that on to the consumer. So at that time, we decided we had to move out of that factory and find other factories to make our track. Right. And it's, it's not easy to do. You know, you have hundreds and hundreds of molds that have to be transferred to the new factory. They have to test the molds, they have to make sure they have the right equipment, the machinery to run it. It's been very exasperating for us as well and we feel terrible about it, but you know, we had to do it and right now, all the HO and N track is starting to flow. Okay, good. The O scale, we're still a little bit behind, but we expect to be in better shape by the summertime for the O scale. Right? Okay, great. So we're expecting hopefully track could be in a, more of a fluid motion for summertime and uh, going forward I think you guys have been working out all the kinks so yeah we want to get into a, an inventory position and the factory that there's a official factory that makes the O scale track and that makes the HO and N okay and the factory that made the HO and N they wanted to start out with code 100 which is the most popular which right, is good right. for us. okay and then they wanted to go to code 83 and make good and then they wanted to go to the N scale boat 70. The problem has been the switches. We've been getting gotcha. sectional pieces, but the switches are just starting to come through. Okay. We've gotten the eight code 100 snap switch, next is the code 83 switches, and, and then, like I said, by the summertime, we should be in a better inventory good, position good. for all, all scales. And, and we asked our customers to stick with us. It is the best track system on the market. That, that, Proof yeah. positive, uh, if you go to Chicago, or you go to the Science and Transportation Museum, there's a million dollar layout there. What track system are you using on it? Atlas Code 100, it celebrated its 10th year of operation last year. Runs from sun up to sundown, I happen to ask. The guys who maintain that track lay or that layout, have they replaced any of the Atlas track? And the answer was no, it's worked flawlessly. Same thing out in San Diego, there is a model railroad museum out there 10 years ago. The uh, toy uh, layout, they changed the track system out because they were wearing the track out, actually wearing the track out. They went to the Atlas uh, nickel silver uh, track system. 10 years of use, not one single piece of that track has been replaced. So we appreciate your uh, patience, hang in there with us. We'll be back up to uh, strength here very shortly. And we have been doing our best to keep it in stock for you. We have been wiping out Atlas, wiping out the distributors. Uh, any place we could get the Atlas track, we're doing our best to get it in. And they're doing their best to get it in as well. But if we don't have it, you're more than welcome to put a back order. As soon as we get it in, we'll ship it out to you. So, uh, you know, Atlas is a great company, uh, family run business, been a long uh, around for a long time, so over just, 60 years. Yeah, yeah. so uh, stay in there. We'll get it for you. Okay. Also, the um, on your website, do you have due dates on when certain items can come in? Yeah, we do. We have we have uh, when we get a uh, container, we get notice of what's coming in. It goes right up on the website. Mm -hmm. This track is coming in. Uh, certain Eric will list all the different items when they're coming in, so you can find that. And there's two different addresses. There's the uh, atlaso.com um, for all, primarily, uh, well it is, all old scale. And then there's atlasrr uh, for railroad.com. Uh, That's the N scale and HO side of the house. So either one of those, there is a section there that will tell you when we're expecting a certain uh, item to arrive. So and I use that a lot myself. I go to the you know, website just to see uh, what because of uh, problems in China from a couple of years ago. It's like playing catch up. Yeah. And, it, yeah. and it's just uh, what was is not any longer. So yeah. you have to keep checking the website 
and just looking at the due dates, what's the new arrivals and things like that. But the stuff you've been waiting for, don't give up on it. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. Absolutely. Right. Right. So, so we know you have an unbelievable track system, but what do you guys have at the York Ogate show? What did you bring and uh, what, what's new, what's coming out? We want to know. All right. Yeah. The big news uh, in uh, O-Scale is our train man line of locomotives. Uh, the CEO, uh, after a little hand wringing, decided that he's finally going to put operating diesel exhaust as well as cruise control in the train man line. If you remember 2005, the train man line debuted uh, to, At uh, to Atlas, and of course Atlas is known for its scale fidelity uh, and accuracy of the model. Uh, train man, uh, the, the whole idea behind that line was to lower the cost of our quarter scale, uh, fine scale models. They accomplished that with the locomotives by taking out the crews and by taking out the smoke system so they could lower the price by about $100 over the master line locomotive. Um, when I came along in 2008, I said, hey, where's the smoke? Where is the uh, crews? And they basically said, hey, look, we took it out because we had to lower the cost um, of the locomotives. Uh, we've engineered that back in. What you're looking at here is a Dash 840CW. Um, we just finished taking orders for these. We still have some cushion that Joe has put in. So if you're interested in one of these fine locomotives, by all means do so. I defy you to uh, tell the differences of this locomotive from the master line. For instance, if you look at the windshield wipers, that's actually molded. It's not a separately applied item. That's the big difference on our master line is many of the things are separately applied. Of course, they always came with smoke, they always came with crews. Now your train man is going to have that, has the exact same sound system as our master line, has the exact same running gear as our master line locomotive. So you're not worried about um, a lack of quality uh, because of the name on the locomotive. Um, uh, also, uh, this locomotive went down in price. When we announced this two years ago before we lost our suppliers, this was going to be a $459.99, $460 locomotive. With all of the options added back in, smoke, cruise, operating ditch lights, uh, upgraded sound system, also a truck system that now you have um, tabs you can take out to lube your warm gear. You don't have to take the truck off. You don't have to take the body off of the locomotive. You can lube it. Boom, guess what? $429.99. We actually lowered the cost of the locomotive. That's a list price. That's the MSRP. I'm too train well to get a discount. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now what do you have over here? All right, that's California Zephyr. This happens to be a diner. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with the California Zephyr, it was a high class train that traveled from Chicago to San Francisco. And it didn't take a backseat to any train that was on the market at the time. That would include the Broadway Limited, uh, the, uh, the San, San, uh, Santa Fe uh, Chief. This train actually matched the best of the best in the marketplace. And a lot, of, a lot of people traveled it. As a matter of fact, the last run of the train, they protested the entire route of the train saying, please do not annul this train. We want to keep it going. But of course, airline travel was uh, very prevalent. The jet age had set in. Uh, the interstate highway system was uh, basically complete. And it sort of s sounded the death knell for uh, passenger train travel as we knew it in its heyday. It look, is back. I'm look sorry. at the detail on this. Oh, oh, it's, it's amazing. Cool. It's yeah. absolutely amazing. If you look at the bottom, you look at the sides, you look at the oh. top. Also, it's got dual power on it. Uh, you can power the lights by strictly batteries, wow. or you can power it off the track. The nice thing with the batteries is you don't have to worry about taking power from your power pack to supply the power. Also, the uh, lights are LED, they're not the traditional bulbs, so the lights should last a lifetime uh, in these cars. Also, uh, there was someone that was gonna come out with a, Key Imports was gonna come out with a brass version of this train. Guess what, the cars are gonna be a thousand dollars a piece. Wow. These retail for $149.95. Uh, and of course, street price through Train World, Train Land, you know, it's going to be a better deal for you. All right. So saddle up and uh, make what sure you come in. What track is this from? Uh, 072. Okay. Okay. We've actually had yeah. people, I had a conductor call me who worked this train for 15 years. He was almost in tears when we announced it. He yeah. said, are you doing this uh, the entire train? And we said, absolutely, we're doing it. We've got three more cars to announce, the baggage. 
the dome chair with the uh, conductor's window and the buffet lounge. That's it. We just announced at the last show the observation car. That's the signature end of the train car. It has that Buck Rogers look to it. Those are going to ship uh, around the September, October time of this year. So we're going to complete the Zephyr. And if you're into this, uh, hallelujah. Yeah, and now uh, also, what's coming out in HONN? We'll just really briefly tap into that because I know it's an O gauge segment, but you guys are huge into HONN scale, so right. I, I, I would be doing a disservice if I didn't mention Well, we, it, you know, we just retooled, uh, did all new tooling on our S2 locomotive. And the S2 locomotive we're doing in both HO and N. Unfortunately, I don't have the N with us today. But with the N scale, we're, we're now working with Loc Sound at ESU wow. for the sound in the N scale, and the sound is incredible. It is. It, it's absolutely and incredible. And for a switcher to have sound in N scale, in N -scale. that is yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. We have taken a ton of pre-orders <laughs> on the N scale version and HO, but um, to have an N scale switcher with sound, it's going to be huge. It's so been, make sure yeah. you get your pre-orders in on one, that. It's one of our... It, it's got to be one of our, our top three uh, selling locomotives in mm -hmm. scale that we've ever come out with. And they show us that it's not taking us in the back seat to the right because that's right. selling like crazy as well. Without yeah. a doubt, but yeah. to have it in N scale, yeah, it's just scale groundbreaking. Yeah, the market, the N scale market is really yeah. looking forward. And also the HO model is new tooling. Uh, we want to mention that to you. The S2 was Alco's most successful diesel electric locomotive. They sold over 1,500 of those. It was a thousand horsepower turbocharged uh, switcher and uh, they lasted actually into the early 90s. You can see these out on the rails. Uh, some of them went into industrial use after they uh, got off of the high rail for class one railroads. They went into the secondary market, the short lines, and then eventually into the industrial use. So, Great locomotive and covers uh, a huge span of time. Uh, they hit the rails in 1940. Very nice. And all, all, all great, great road names. They already got the one at Canadian Pacific, but they're, they're all out there. Sounds good. I thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. And again, Atlas is back on track. <laughs> <laughs> Shop online 24-7, get all your Atlas products, trainworld.com. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.